the book of Revelation or the Revelation of Saint John the Divine chapter 9 King James Version and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as of the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by the by the reason of the smoke of the pit and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and upon them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded then that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die <clears throat> desire to die and death shall flee from them and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men and they had hair as the hair of woman and their teeth were as the teeth of lions and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings as was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to the bat running to battle and they had tails like unto scorpions and there were stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name is, in the hebrew tongue is a a bad but in the Greek, Tom hath, hath is his name, Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of, of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in their great in the great river euphrates you 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 <laughs> how do i pronounce it you euphrates euphrates and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for two for um for to slay the third part of men and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and i heard the number of them and thus i saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire of um, of jasoneth and brimstone and the heads the heads of the horse were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of men of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt and the rest of men which were not killed by these plagues by these plagues by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Chapter 10 And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed 
with a cloud and the rainbow was upon his head and the rainbow um, and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his hands a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the, on the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth and when he had cried seven thunders uttered their voices and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices i was about to write and i heard a voice from heaven saying unto me seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them and write them not and and the angel which i saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand lift, lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth for ever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the, and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, which he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. And the, and the voice, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth, and I went unto the angel, and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, and eat it up. And it shall make thine, thine belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, and nations, and tongues, and kings. Chapter 11 And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure this temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it now measure it not for it is given unto the gentiles and the holy city shall they shall they tread under foot forty and two months and i will give power unto unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed clothed in sackcloth these are the two olive trees and the two candle the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth, and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will and when they shall have finished their testimony the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of, in the street of the great city which which spiritually is called sodom and egypt where also where also our lord was crucified and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth and after three days and a half the spirit of life from god entered into them and they stood upon their feet and a, and great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them 
come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them and the same hour was was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell and in the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand and the re the remnant were <coughs> affrighted and gave glory to the god of heaven the second woe is past and behold the third wolf cometh quickly, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were two there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world and are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the four and the twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks. O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto the thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and that and them that fear thy name, small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were, there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and a great hail. Chapter 12 And there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her, her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And he, she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God, and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place pre prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and, fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast, cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. With an allusion to Job 1, 1, 9 and Revelation eleven fifteen, Yes, this is just my additional allusions. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the earth. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times and a half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, 
and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. His mouth. And the dragon was wroth, was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of his seed, which keep the com commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. <sighs> Shall I continue? And I stood upon, chapter 13, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast, a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy, in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme, <coughs> to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and then that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds, and tongues, and nations. And that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life, of of the of the lamb slain from the foundation from the foundation of the of the world if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints with an allusion to genesis 9 6 yeah yeah just my own additional words don't take it for granted you know they are not God's words. Just saying. And I, be, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And he exercises, exercises, exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. And causeth the earth and them which the wild therein to worship the first beast. Whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth... And he, he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh, he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and they and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he call, causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that he save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Yeah, Jesus. So Revelation chapter nine, all the way to Revelation chapter thirteen. For tonight thank you very much for listening and watching and <clears throat> stay faithful let's continue to hold the line together and yeah take care bye bye good night bye cheers